Hey, what's up guys? So today I decided to do something a little bit different. I've built this uh, Lego RC car that's powered by um, a little 300 class uh, 1600 kV blue wonder here. So I've been wanting to do something like this for a really long time now and I've been doing some experimenting with um, the connecting the motor directly up to the drive shaft using uh, the gears down here um, but I could not get that to work because the gears were too like flimsy and plasticky because they're made out of Legos. So instead I decided to go just with the propeller idea. This whole thing was originally a Lego dune buggy that actually had some really cool features, including steerable front wheels, dual suspension, and a motor that had cylinders that moved when you spun the wheels. I've taken out pretty much all of the little decoration stuff, uh, but I did leave the entire front suspension and a steering mechanism intact. So as you can see here, I hooked up the servo and I glued it to a little Lego part which connects to this axle piece that comes up here and then spins this little gear here that then slides that flat uh, serrated piece uh, to move uh, the axles. I'll give you a little demonstration here of how it works. cool thing is with this setup is that it can move the front tires and steer them while also having its own suspension. Here's a little run up of the motor. It has a lot of power even though I have a smaller prop on there and I actually had to change the size of the prop to a smaller one because it was having too much power. I think I had a 6x4 on there, and now I have a 50 35x3 or something like that. Another really cool thing is that since it doesn't have to fly, you don't have to really worry about the weight. So I can stick an 1800 milliamp hour or higher 3-cell uh, battery on there, and that'll keep it running for hours, most likely. But I think that's about it for the overview, so let's go drive it. <laughs> How'd you do that? <laughs> uh oh, we got a dog. Hey, careful around the propeller.
Overall, this was a really fun project to do, as usual, and uh, it's really neat what you can do with just sticking electronics on different things. If you guys want me to do more of this in the future, please let me know, and uh, maybe if you want to know how I built this, then I can do like a more in-depth video in the future, possibly. I don't think I'm going to do an entire build video just because it's really hard to follow and you need some external parts, and it involves just a different bunch of Legos, but I'll uh, list the parts in the description and uh, maybe the Lego set that I used. I don't think it's still made anymore, I think they discontinued it, but you might be able to find it used if you want to build one. Other than that, I think this concludes this video. Um, if you guys want to see more of this, please subscribe, leave a like, and leave a comment. Uh, I appreciate feedback a lot. Um, I really appreciate what you guys say, and um, that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next video.